All right, guys, welcome back. I uh, wanted to test out this new Pelican kayak dolly that they came out with. So I'll go ahead and open it up, put it together, and I'm going to compare it with, with the uh, Wilderness kayak cart that I have. And we'll just see, because this one's about half the price of the, of the Wilderness, and it looks like it has a lot of the same features and, and functionality. Wow, these are actually a lot lighter uh, than they look. So this is definitely aluminum. You may have some issues with this over time. I could definitely see this, uh, you know, dry rotting and just cracking right through the center. That's when the electric tape will have to come into play. So um, we'll see how that lasts long term. Where's these? So this is pretty thick. Uh, this would be the the axle. It definitely feels pretty substantial. A lot more so than these guys. I think I'm on the Wilderness Kayak card, it has the ability to install it on either the top or the bottom. And that kind of depends on your hull, on the hull that you have on your on your kayak. Um, so mine, I, I'm guessing I'm going to need a little more clearance. I have the W hull on there. Um, and I'll show you what I mean by that here in a second. You can also check out the other video I have on the Wilderness Kayak cart. Uh, compare the two there as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and put it on the bottom. Now to get the wheels on, looks like they're the same on both sides. These are foam filled. And that's it. So it is definitely not as firm as the uh, as the wilderness, but the wilderness is also rated at like 500 pounds or something crazy. So I think that this would be fine. Um, but let's get the other kayak cart, the wilderness, and we can uh, put them side by side. And... Okay, so I can tell you without a doubt. 100%. Um, the wilderness is far more substantial than the pelican. So this is, I don't know, if I was to guess, maybe 10 pounds. This has got to be double the weight. Um, the wheel comparison. So we're probably looking at the difference between a six inch wheel and a uh, 10 inch wheel yeah i mean it's significantly large another thing is there's a larger sidewall on the pelican kayak cart but it's not really going to make a difference because there's no there's no flex to it it's all foam uh, so th it's essentially the same as this foam tire um as far as portability i think the the pelican kayak's going to fit into a few more spaces it's just smaller overall and i think honestly for a hundred bucks um, I want to say that the Pelican kayak is is uh, gonna do the trick so unless you have a real reason to to need the extra amount of weight that the wilderness is gonna carry you're just gonna be lugging around twice the amount of weight um, and it costs twice as much um, I think they're both good I think they're both they're both good kayak carts and they're, they're definitely gonna get the job done for you um, if you're on a budget then the Pelican's certainly gonna do the trick 
One issue you might run into is just the track. So you can see how much wider the wilderness wheels are over the Pelican. So if you're trying to go over sand or something soft, uh, even gravel, you might notice a, a significant difference. And these cushions just seem a little better. I mean, they may crack too, but these just seem like they're a little more brittle. Not a huge issue because you could probably just get either the same tube or throw some tape over it or whatever the case is. Um, it does flex a little bit more where the wilderness doesn't flex at all. I mean, you can have a couple people stand on there and, and it's going to be fine. I'll do, a, I'll do a comparison as far as carrying the kayak as well. Uh, so I have an Old Town Sportsman. I don't have it here right now. Um, but I will do a, a comparison video so you can actually see how these perform. But the nice thing is the both widths are adjustable. So you can see there's these hatch marks on this one. And there's the same hatch marks on the, <coughs> on the wilderness as well. So depending on your kayak uh, hull width, um, it should be able to handle pretty much all of them. In particular, the, the fishing kayaks with the W, the wider W hulls, uh, those are really what these kayak carts are going to, where they're going to shine. So yeah, a little over 100 bucks. Can't remember the exact price. Um, and I think a little over 200 bucks. So that's going to be the main factor for why somebody would choose the Pelican. The other factor is the weight um, and the portability of the Pelican just is a uh, plus on the, on the Pelican side. All right, uh, thanks for watching. Like I said, I'll do a follow-up video, and that way you can kind of compare and see the two on the on the kayak hull itself.